happy. Anything else we've moved today? It's been a bit of a breeze, to be honest. It's been like the longest journey to go all the way through here. Right, let's show you the journey. Oh well, the three-wheeler is finally on the right side of the garage to be collected and oh god, what a journey it was to get there. It started yesterday with firing her up, getting her running a little bit better for the journey because uh, obviously we were planning to drive it through this garage and uh, we had it running reasonably well, not too bad, well enough to move it. We got it in reverse, took it on a little couple of feet in reverse, all fine, and put it into first and it just leapt forward and something Something broke, I don't know. Something to do with the clutch. Must have been either the release bearing just disintegrated or something. The clutch still engages, but I just didn't trust it again after that. And uh, the engine got quite hot as well in a really, really short amount of time. So the rad must be probably blocked in it, uh, which wouldn't surprise me. It has been off the road since uh, the mid 80s. So it wouldn't surprise me at all if the radiator is a little bit blocked. So we ditched that idea in favor of just pushing it through the garage the three wheel is really light, so pushing this through the garage was bloody easy compared to everything else. Uh, but let's uh, show you where the journey starts. So, obviously the first thing we had to do was it was sitting for years up against the green mini. And uh, the green mini is in a shocking condition. <laughs> it's, uh, I honestly thought it would snap in half when we moved it. And that fought me for hours, that did, moving it just back and then full lock and over there that really did take its toll on me getting it moved uh, but we've got that moved now and i think what we're going to try and do is probably come off of one of these big trees with a uh, winch and drag the back end around so it too is lined up for the not so distant future to make this journey as well we're not going to do it today because i'm just absolutely knackered uh, but next time it'll be much easier to do this hopefully and then we've had to move the green Morris Minor out first and then move this Morris Minor forward uh, hopefully going to get this one completely out of the garage this afternoon and around to this side because uh, we want that in here so we can have the Mark III Cortina which used to sit right about there over this side with the green Morris Minor all the way over here this garage was wasn't put up too long ago uh, whereas this side is just uh, the existing garage that was here this sort of like lean-to that was always here for the house and um, I've already had to replace this bracing along this wall because we came out one day and found that that had collapsed and the whole roof had dropped slightly and that's terrifying so that's why we've we've decided to do some of this as well is to get the Cortina over to a safer area and obviously we've had to move the Austin A30 out of the way that was a little bit of a bugger uh, but thankfully we didn't have to move the mini. Yeesh, that would have been hard work. But there we go. The three wheeler is finally out. And uh, yeah, we're splicing a few of the clips of <laughs> starting it up 
and the disaster that we had yesterday, uh, which nearly saw we uh, scolded, to be honest. But uh, we got there, we got there. It wasn't too bad. Right, that'll do for now. 